um, Oregon and Mark and them, they had a, they played really well tonight, did some good things. Um, on our side, you know, we, we've got to win the turnover ratio. You're kind of a hard time winning Pac-12 football games if you don't win the turnover ratio. Um, we didn't do as good a job there tonight as we have been, and, uh, you know, a lot of that was on us. So, uh, but I thought our kids battled extremely hard. I definitely thought we could win the game um, and uh, had some opportunities to do it, um, especially when we got it back to 31 to 24 and stopped them. And then, um, you know, they go for it on third down and two and did the reverse. And I was getting just inches away from making the play. And uh, that would have been a huge play there. And, um, and then we couldn't stop the run as well as we'd like when we needed to there um, at the end, um, which uh, kind of they were able to just kind of put the ball game away. Um, but I thought that our, our kids definitely believe they can win. Um, I don't know when the last time it was 17 to 17 at half with Colorado and Oregon. Um, and uh, in no way, shape, or form do we take any type of moral victory. But I do believe our program's growing, and I do believe we're going to win um, our fair share of Pac 12 games this year. But we've got to take care of the football. I'll take any questions at this time. No the third quarter with them, uh, you know, 17 17 at half, and then have them come out and, and kind of make that two touchdown cushion in the third quarter. Did anything change? Did you think your team came out flat or anything? In the third no, quarter? we slipped on the first pass route, and we slipped on the next pass route, and that kind of got us off to a bad start. And um, uh, they made a couple plays there on the um, on the option one time. Quarterback made a nice play, um, and uh, we missed the tackles on that one third down and ten. We hit the guy, I think, three different times, 21, um, uh, and that was rough because you, you get him down there, they got to kick a, you know, 38, 40-yard field goal. Um, then they went in to score. Um, that was, you know, that was a tough sequence. And then I think the way we battled back and, um, you know, made the fourth down stop was big, and um, that changed the game. It gave us a chance to win. Then we go down and score, um, and then we weren't able to, to, to get them out after that. Um, and uh, we, get, you know, uh, you know, we did start out the second half. I thought we'd be able to move the ball down the field and score. We, we, we didn't start out the second half very well. You're exactly correct. And that hurt us, of course. But I think right there beginning of the fourth quarter when we got back in it, um, 31-24 with, I think, ten and a half minutes to go and a lot of momentum. Um, that was a good call by them on that reverse. I thought we'd have it, but we didn't. We didn't all barely didn't make the play. Obviously, Oregon had success running the football. It seemed like there was a common issue there throughout the game. Yeah, we didn't stop the run um, very well, um, as well as we'd like. I'd go back and look at it. I mean, of course, they made some good plays. We didn't fit up a couple things right. Um, and then, um, you know, um, we missed a few tackles. Um, but they, uh, they ran the ball good, and that's what I thought they would do. I thought they'd come in and hand the ball to Royce Freeman. You know, um, I don't know number five's name. I'm sorry I should, but he made a couple of nice runs too. He's extremely fast. Coach, talk about your running game tonight. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. halftime, you guys are 17 17. What did you tell your team at halftime? And uh, were you satisfied with your running game tonight? Uh, no, I wasn't satisfied with the running game. I wasn't satisfied with the offense altogether tonight. Um, and our offense is better than that and should be better than that. And uh, we need to make sure that we keep improving our offense. Um, and uh, kind of not hitting on all cylinders, it doesn't seem like to me right now. And we got to, we got to, I've got to find a way to fix that. Um, and, uh, um, so we, we didn't run the ball as well as we'd like. You know, we've got some running backs down, but that's, that's no excuse. Um, and uh, um, we've got to be able to be more balanced and, uh, and, and be a little bit. We just never got in a rhythm all the time, it seemed like. We weren't in a good rhythm a lot. And uh, when you can't get it going and get in a rhythm, it's hard to move, be a good offense. So we need to improve that. We're, we're, we're better than that on offense, and um, we'll figure it out. And, we should have one of our running, another running back next week. It'll be help us a little bit, but uh, we'll see. Did the, did the delay of the games uh, cause any concerns with your team? No, I mean they were in the same situation. I don't think that caused any concerns with our team. I, I don't. Um, maybe we should have had a delay a game at halftime when we came back out. How's uh, Cepho? He just seemed like, and it was hard to give us a, a health report right now, but he seemed a little beat up at the end of the game. I'll find out. I'm going to go down and get with Adam our trainer and find out some things there. Um, and so I'll know that's right where I go after this. Were you 
changing up your scheme or concepts at all defensively with like the whole back and forth um, quarterback rotation for them? I mean, was that kind of a, a different well, we, report for each guy? Or? Uh, well, number 12 hadn't played much, but we felt like he was a runner. Um, and that's what he did. And we were trying to, you know, we just screwed up on the option one time. The, you know, one young man should have taken the quarterback and didn't, and he turned up. And then the next time we played it better. And, um, but they hadn't really shown that type of option to the backside as much. They had, we had seen it and we had worked on it because we knew it was in their offense. Um, but that was, a, you know, something that we knew was coming, didn't um, practice it as much, did practice it some. It seemed like you guys did a better job stopping the run in the first half. What did you think changed uh, at the break? Well, I think we got wore down a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, we needed – and we, you know, we missed some tackles. Um, the, the one big run they hit on us, we – I've got to go back and look at it. I think we just – I think we lined up wrong and misfit it, and they hit us going. Um, and that happens with our offense going fast. You don't want it to happen, but it happens every once – we got him down, thank goodness, but uh, – that was a, a, a that hurt us there, and I, you know, without looking at the film, I wish you could watch film on like you know, or get pictures like you can in the NFL. You, it's hard to figure that out every time. Coach, it seemed offensively that the team struggled on first downs a good amount of the time, especially with Philip Lindsay going up the middle and getting stuck quite a bit. Is that something that's going to be addressed in practice this week? Just getting a, a better first punch, if you will? Yeah, we, we need to get, definitely get a better first punch. You, you know, you want, you want to gain four-plus yards on first down for sure, and that helps you kind of get into a rhythm. That's what I'm saying. We didn't get into a rhythm as much as we like, and then, you know, we, um, we've got to go back and look at that and try to figure it out a little bit better. How did the Oregon D just disrupt that rhythm? Or allow um, it to be there? I guess they were whipping us up front some. Like, you know, that's what I would assume. Um, and uh, we just got to go look at it and see a little bit more. Uh, we just didn't get into sync as much as we would like. You said your biggest concern with Oregon, you said this a lot over the years, is speed, speed, mm -hmm. speed, speed. And then coming into this year, and you told us you're bigger, faster, stronger. Just interested to know, did you notice the gap closing there, or maybe that you Yeah, I mean, I think if you watch the game, the gap closed a lot <laughs> compared to the two games I've watched the last two years, to me. Um, and, you know, we had an opportunity to win the football game in the fourth quarter. Um, and, uh, um, you know, it hadn't even been, the game's been over at halftime the last two years. I think that's a, a good jump. It's not anywhere where we want to be, but it shows we're making progress. Can you address what happened on, um, I think it was the unsportsmanlike that seemed to come from the sideline? Yeah, they caught a, a penalty on one of our assistants. Coach, you got a little frustrated with that. Coach, it was something in the heat of the moment with you and him? Yeah, he got the penalty. Gave us a 15-yard penalty. He can't be doing that. Not one of my assistant coaches can do that. That's completely uncalled for. Coach, you just said it, but I think last year, CU versus Oregon, at halftime, the score is 30-3. to So how do you just keep your guys from beating themselves up about this? And kind of <clears throat> well, well one of the things you do is you go back and you show them the film. And you say, okay, you see where you messed up? And they go, got it. And they'll be able to understand where it was. And then they, they know they've gotten better. They know they've improved. Um, they believe in themselves. And uh, they, they'd like to go play Oregon again tomorrow and show they can beat them. Um, that's the type of attitude they have now. How do you feel being 3-2 and two right now? Uh, not very good. I wish we were 5-0. and oh. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.